Hi, my name is Megan O'Donnell, and I'm a sales engineer here at Smartjeet. The purpose of today's conversation is to introduce Control Center and to understand how it can benefit your organization. To begin, what is Control Center? Control Center builds on the core value of Smartsheet to deliver project consistency, visibility, and processes at scale. We're going to accomplish this by automating project creation, managing change, and aggregating portfolio analytics. Your end users will get the freedom to work the way they want to, and your business leaders will be able to maintain, maintain control to manage risk, improve collaboration, and enhance productivity to ultimately accelerate innovation. Even though there are different use cases across the industry for using Control Center, what it will allow your organization to do is to enable control at scale. Your organization can create a standard set of components and use the powerful automation to ensure consistency across all processes and projects. Control Center will automate the project toolkit creation where the work is actually being executed. It will then roll up that data so managers and, and executives alike will get a holistic view across an entire portfolio or a subset of projects. What we are going to see with Control Center are the following themes. The automated creation of Smartsheet items will help drive consistency in project execution and reporting. Automated portfolio reporting will provide visibility to leadership so they can confidently make decisions based on budget, risk, and resources. And finally, the automation will allow us to manage more work with less resources eliminate manual reporting efforts, and roll out changes across your entire portfolio. Now that we understand what Control Center is and the benefits it can bring to your organization, let's take a look at Control Center in action. For today's example, we're going to see how Control Center is used within a project portfolio management use case. To begin, let's first look at how we can standardize our approach to project delivery. When we're thinking about executing a project, we need to first take a step back and we need to look at how we're going to collect our new project information. We're going to use a Smartsheet form as a way to collect and standardize the amount of information that we need to decide, is this a project we can take on with our bandwidth and our, our project resources? A Smartsheet form is beneficial because we can customize the fields that we want to collect information. We can mark those fields as required, and we can add in some conditional logic if we want to collect more information about, let's say, a specific project type. Once I submit that new project information, what's going to happen is it's going to populate within an underlying sheet. Here we have an intake sheet that's being used to collect all of our project information. Since this information is stored within one single sheet, we have the ability to then look back on past projects that were approved or declined to track any trends and to help make a decision. Is this a project that we can take on? What you're going to see here is our new, our new submission has been added to the bottom of this sheet here. To enhance this process, we can add in our smart sheet alerts and automation to send a notification that a new project has been submitted. If we want to take this one step further, we can even send out an approval request notifying a department head that a new project has been submitted and requires their approval. Once we decide if this is a project that we can take on, we would have this project turned to an approved state. From a simple trigger, such as changing a, an approval status, we can then have our, our project information already created for us so that our project team can then execute in on our project. That is going to be done through Control Center. Since it is important for us to understand really the power behind Control Center, I'm going to manually trigger that project creation so we can see what that back end looks like for us. So if we now move into our control center automation engine, 
again, this screen here wouldn't necessarily be used or seen within that day-to-day -day basis. When we're ready to execute in on a project, the first step here is selecting what template set or what Smartsheet items do I need to actually execute in on that project? What we have the ability to do is create multiple blueprints. These blueprints are gonna give you flexibility. If you have different project types that require a different set of items in order to execute the work, or if you have a different approach to completing different project type, we have the flexibility to create separate project items in order to execute in on that project. For today's example, I'm going to use our standard project. So what that means here is I'm going to have the following items automatically created for us for this new project. What this is going to do, it's going to provide a standard way of how we're going to execute in on our project. Yes, we are providing the items that we want our project team to use to execute in on a specific project, but you're still going to see the project team has the flexibility to view the data how they want and how they need in order to complete this project. The powerful feature here of our control center automation it's going to take the information that we've already submitted from our project form that's pushed then to our intake sheet. And it's now going to automatically populate that information into the project toolkit that's being created for us. This here is going to reduce the amount of manual steps needed from collecting that project information, creating the project template set, and then copying and pasting information that we've already collected. Control Center is going to do that work for your project team. And finally, we have the ability to automatically share out these new Smartsheet items that we are creating to your project team. Again, this is simply going to reduce the amount of manual steps needed from having then to actually execute a project. So what we're doing here is we're reducing the amount of manual steps needed for the actual setup of the project. So now we can take that time back and actually execute it on the project. Within your screen, this is probably the most powerful button that we're seeing today. Control Center is taking the information that we've submitted. It's taking that set standard Smartsheet items that we want to execute in on the project, combining that information for us, and then finally, it's pushing that information up to our executive level. This is going to provide the executive team the most up-to-date information for your specific project. Once our project is ready to go, we now can start executing. Since this screen, again, is not going to be seen within that day-to-day -day from uh, your project team, let's take a look at what this would look like for the user of someone who's actually executing. If I click back into our project submission sheet, what we're going to see, it's going to be a very quick change here of having our new project dashboard automatically added into our intake sheet. So if I highlight this row so we can direct our attention here, what just happened is now we have a link of our project dashboard automatically added back into our project submission sheet. Again, we can use that automation to notify the user who submitted it or that project lead that their project toolkit has been created and they can start executing in on it. Let's take a look at an example of what a project dashboard could look like for your organization. What we have here is the project dashboard that's automatically been created by Control Center. You're going to notice our pre-populated information has now been added directly onto that dashboard without any manual effort on our end. This dashboard is really where I see the project lead coming in on that weekly basis, checking in on the status of that specific project. 
the project lead is going to be able to see if we're on track. And if not, where are any risk and issues that I quickly need to identify and bring attention to? If we need to drill down a level to see where the work's actually being executed, we can dive into a project plan. The project plan is really where we're going to be tracking that task level information and where those who are executing the work can come in and simply update a status or make any adjustments to that day-to-day -day work. Since this project plan is going to be the source of truth of where data is being stored, we know here that as long as our information within our project plan is up to date and accurate, it's going to push automatically up to that project dashboard. And it will bring all of our project data up to our executive team. The executive team will be able to get that holistic view of this specific project without any manual cell linking up on our end. So what we've just seen here is we've seen a way of how we've collected project information and we use Control Center to automate our project toolkit being created for us. So now our project team can execute in on that specific project. Now that we've seen how we can execute projects, let's take a look at, at how we can automate and get real-time portfolio visibility. What we're going to see is a way that Smartsheet can establish a single source of truth for executive reporting. With siloed teams and systems, it's hard to get visibility into who's working on, on what and whether those are the most important things. Critical information doesn't always get shared or by the time it does, it's possibly outdated, which puts leaders at risk of making the low quality decisions based on strategic topics. With Control Center, we're gonna have our project information automatically aggregated to this portfolio level view here. We're going to give your executive team a single source of truth that can be trusted with the most up-to-date data. When we're looking at this executive portfolio dashboard, you're going to notice we have our metrics summarized in a way that's a clean, clear way to digest the information on that weekly basis if our portfolio is on track or if not. What you're going to see is I've had no manual update to this specific dashboard, but already that Smartsheet for PPM project that we recently created has automatically been added to our project dashboard already. So what we're seeing here is anytime we're creating or, or starting off a new project, that information will automatically be rolled up to this project dashboard. So your executives, again, will be able to get that quick pulse check, are we on track or not here? We can then make this dashboard as interactive as we want for your executive team to drill down further to address any of the risk or look at a project that may need deeper attention here. Having your dashboard as a single source of truth will give your executives that one single location to come in, look at a risk report across all of your ongoing projects so they can quickly identify what needs attention for that specific a time period. If we notice that a project needs deeper attention, we can do a drill down directly off of our single dashboard. We have the ability to dive into that underlying project dashboard to again, notice that we have a red at health status in what needs our attention or where can I assist to get this project back on track? I can continue to dive deeper in and notice that the problem is actually because we have outdated information. I know that this project has already been marked as complete and we simply didn't have the most up-to-date information here. If I bring us then back to our executive view, this information is going to push back up to our project dashboard and ultimately bring it back to our executive portfolio. So now you're going to notice here that we have our risk metric 
has reduced to six at-risk projects, and we no longer have that annuity project listed as red at health. So what we're really getting here is simply a way for our executive team to drive operational decisions from real time and most importantly, accurate data. And finally, for today, we want to take a look at how Control Center can deploy changes at scale. We understand your organization is constantly changing, so we want to make sure that your solution is able to change in scale with you. With that being said, let's take a look at some key features of how Control Center can automate changes at scale. Within our interface here, we have the ability to apply a global update. A global update is going to allow us to add a new column, add a new profile data to existing projects. This is going to allow, again, projects that are already in motion to be updated across the board. This is going to prevent that manual, uh, that manual update needed by uh, someone on your team to go ahead and add in, let's say, a new profile data to your 50 current projects. We can have this automated by using Control Center. We also have the ability to set up an archiving system. If we have projects that are completed and we save them for 90 days, we want to make sure that we're always then having like the most up to date information within our executive view and we don't want to clutter our space. So we can set up an archiving rule to move projects that have already been completed to a different area within your Smartsheet account. And finally, another key feature to touch upon is the ability to add in additional blueprints to your control center solution. As your organization is growing, you may have additional project types that require a different set of Smartsheet items to actually execute this project. We can easily add in an additional blueprint to fit the needs, again, of that new project that may have been added. So what we saw here is the ability for your organization to adapt new and better ways of working over time. At a high level, what we've seen and heard today is a way to standardize approach to project delivery, automate portfolio reporting, and deploy changes at scale by using our control center automation.